get your popcorn ready, a kidney transplant's on TV. How does this compare to a gory movie scene? Well, knowing this is actually happening is a lot more interesting. That's crazy. That's crazy how quickly it can work. I liked it when they first started just seeing how it doesn't even have to be a huge incision. Like they make it out to be on all the medical TV shows. This is better. No actors here, just some of Canada's best nephrologists. The setting, the operating room at St. Joseph's Hospital in Hamilton, where over 100 live kidney transplants are done each year. When they talked about how long it took them, or they, they had to put the kidney into the actual body, which was 30 to 45 minutes, it surprised me because um, to be able to connect like an organ to the body in 30 to 45 minutes is incredible. Like the skills that they have is amazing. The doctors were explaining everything that they were doing. It was wonderful. It was amazing. Especially transplant surgeons. The doctors and nurses took time to answer questions via Facebook Live. So I'm going to tweet out a question to the surgeons because in one of the interviews ahead of time, they said that this type of surgery brings them a lot of joy. I want to ask them why. That's a fantastic question. And he answered. Especially, uh, and that uh, is very satisfying to be in that team environment. Um, it looks know. like they're just connecting the kidney to the body, and um, they're just, I think they're just finishing up, but I'm not sure. Another success for the team at St. Joe's and for the recipient on the table who has a new lease on life. I really want to go into medicine, maybe surgery, maybe like become a specialist in something. And for the students at Salt Fleet District High School, inspiration. I want to go into biology actually. Um, I wasn't thinking about surgery, but now after seeing this, it's cool just to see like how, how it's actually done. It sparked my interest in possibly becoming a surgeon. So Dwight, that is exactly what this was all about for the husband and wife donor recipient duo. And uh, we caught up with them a couple of days before uh, they both went in for surgery. I want to uh, give you a, a chance to hear how the, uh, the, the recipient, the very grateful husband who no longer has to uh, live on uh, daily dialysis, here's how he puts it. I said only one thing, I'm not a billionaire where I can give a million dollar check to the hospital. Uh, but at least this is a kind of uh, a small uh, thing which I can do for myself, from my end. You know, I'm still getting over cutting that frog open in junior high, so <laughs> heads off to level. those students. They're a great job for them staying through that and being inspired to become MDs maybe someday themselves. What is the hospital saying about streaming other surgeries like this? Well, you know what? They are confident. They are proud of their work, proud of their surgeons. So they look forward to doing more of these live streams and, and encouraging uh, more conversation about organ donation. That is a big part of this as well.